if x equals to a sin theta minus b cos theta and y is equal to a cos theta plus b sin theta then which of the following is true right options have been given to us x squared plus y squared equals to a square minus b square x squared plus y square equals to a square plus b square then option 3 says x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared is 1 and option 4 reads x squared by y squared plus a squared by b squared equals to 1 all right so how do we solve this right look at the uh, given equations first x right x equals a sin theta minus b cos theta okay and y is equal to a cos theta plus b sin theta now what can be done conventional method uh, suggests that you take the squares of uh, both the equations right take square the equations on both the sides so what happens x squared equals to a squared sin squared theta minus 2ab sin theta cos theta plus b squared cos squared theta right how about the second equation square this on both the sides what do we get y squared equals to a squared cos squared theta plus 2ab sin theta cos theta plus b squared sin squared theta right simple we are just squaring the given equations x squared and y squared now add both the sides right let's add these two equations what do we get on the left hand side we get x squared plus y squared which is equal to look at this a squared sine squared theta plus a squared cos squared theta so if we take a squared common we have sine squared theta plus cos squared theta of course you can cut down a few steps here then the second terms get cancelled right plus 2ab sine theta cos theta minus 2ab sine theta cos theta and then we have the next two terms where b squared can be taken common we are left with cos squared theta plus sine squared theta and we very well know that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. So this actually is equal to 1. This is also equal to 1. So finally, what do we have? x squared plus y squared equals to a squared plus b squared. All right. x squared plus y squared equals to a squared plus b squared, which is option 2. If x sine cube theta plus y cos cube theta equals to sine theta cos theta and x sine theta equals to y cos theta, where sin theta is not equal to 0 and cos theta is not equal to 0, then x squared plus y squared is. Options are 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 1 or root 2. Alright, so let's try and solve this now. What do we see? x sin cube theta plus y cos cube theta equals to sin theta cos theta and x sin theta equals to y cos theta. So there are two conditions given in the question, right? Condition number 1 x sin cube theta plus y cos cube theta equals to sin theta cos theta condition 2 x sin theta equals to y cos theta and then of course there are two more conditions that sin theta cannot be 0 and cos theta cannot be 0 he's asking us to find out what is the value of x squared plus y squared now try and look at this condition first sin theta should not be equal to 0 what does it imply theta cannot be 0 degrees because sin theta is not 0 implies theta cannot be 0 sin 0 is 0 yeah similarly if you look at this uh, next condition given here it says uh, cos theta should not be zero which implies theta should not be equal to 90 degrees because cos 90 is zero so basically what we have understood from the given question is that theta cannot be zero theta cannot be 90 and that is it these are the only two uh, conditions given to us theta should not be zero theta should not be 90 it can be any other value right it can it can take any other value there's no other condition given there so let's substitute some value for theta can i take theta equals to 45 degrees yes why not we are not going against the question, right? So let's assume theta equals to 45 degrees. Now substitute theta equals to 45 in these two equations. See what do you get in terms of x and y. So in the first equation, we get x into sine 45. Sine 45, you know, is 1 by root 2, right? 1 by root 2 whole cube plus y into cos 45 is also 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 whole cube equals to sine theta. Sine 45 is 1 by root 2 into cos 45 is also 1 by root 2. That's first equation how about the second equation x into sine 45 which is 1 by root 2 equals to y into cos 45 which also is 1 by root 2 so basically root 2 and root 2 gets cancelled and from this we come to a conclusion that x is equal to y so that is one conclusion that we have that x should be equal to y right x should be equal to y look at the uh, remaining part here the, the other equation here simplify this what do we get uh, i think I, th I think you can take uh, uh, 1 by root 2 whole square common here right because what we have on the right hand side is 1 by root 2 whole square right 1 by root 2 whole square so 1 by root 2 whole square and here also 1 by root 2 whole square can be taken common so this gets cancelled what we are left with is 1 by root 2 into x plus y equals to 1 you're getting it this is 1 by root 2 whole square so that 1 by root 2 whole square cancels out 1 by root 2 whole square on the left hand side as well 
So finally, we have x plus y into 1 by root 2 equals to 1, which implies x plus y equals to x plus y equals to root 2. So basically, you know that x plus y is root 2 and x is equal to y. So basically, uh, if, if you now solve for these two equations, you will get to know what is x and what is y. Yes or no? Solve for these two equations, you will find out what is x and what is y. Substitute those values of x and y in the equation x squared plus y squared. Substitute those values of x and y in the equation x squared plus y squared to find out the answer. Simple. So now solve the equation. See, x is equal to y. So I can say if x is equal to y, 2x equals to root 2. Right? 2x equals to root 2. Y, x is equal to y. x is equal to y. So x plus x, 2x equals to root 2 or x equals to root 2 by 2 which is 1 by root 2. If x equals to 1 by root 2, y also will be 1 by root 2. And done. You know what is x and what is y. Substitute in x square plus y square. x square plus y square will be 1 by root 2 whole square plus 1 by root 2 whole square. Or x square plus y square can be taken as 2x square. It can be simply taken as 2x square. So 1 by root 2 whole square is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1. So your answer to this question should be option 3, 1. Please do not go by the length of the explanation or the number of steps that you have put on paper, right? You can cut down a lot of these steps and, and save your precious time in the exam. Now one question that many of you may have is how do we know that theta equals to 45 degrees? We do not know. We are not sure if theta is 45 degrees or not. But we are sure that for any value of theta other than 0 degrees and 90 degrees, these equations should hold true. So you take theta as 45 or 60 or 30 is your choice. You can take theta equals to 12 degrees also. But who knows what is sine 12 and what is cos 12. That we do not know. See, we only know the standard values, right? 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. We know all the trigonometric ratios for these standard values. So use any one of these values. I have taken 45. Even if you take theta equals to 30, substitute sine 30, cos 30 and simplify. Final answer would remain the same. You will always get the same answer, which is option 3 in this case. All right. So, so try and choose a value which makes it easier. Why did I take 45? Why not 30 or 60? Because if I take 45, both sine and cos become equal. So, so that helps me solve it faster, right? In, in place of 45, let's say if I had taken 30, I would have spent maybe uh, 10 more seconds to get the answer. We'll get the same answer, one only, but it, it would take a little more time. All right. So option three, one is the answer. And the method I, you can see here is just substitute. Go by substitution. Substitution. But do not violate any of the condition. Like if you had substituted 0, theta equals to 0 here, you are going against the given question. Question clearly says that sine theta cannot be 0. Yeah. So that's how you go for it.